Hi, in today's home exercise tutorial, we are going to go over um, a simple exercise that you can do to fix a stiff leg. Uh, the other benefit of what we're going to do is it also helps with weight bearing. So if your stiffness is due to spasticity due to a brain injury or a stroke, then you'll get the added benefit with this exercise versus some other exercises that stretch the leg. Um, because it will also it also gives a little bit of weight bearing which as I've stated in some other videos weight bearing is a great way to decrease spasticity so for this one we are going to be stretching the hamstring and um, which will help you to keep the knee straight um, and also the foot and ankle so keeping the foot up so if you're someone who your foot has a tendency to point down or you have drop foot this should also help to stretch that ankle as well what I've done here is I've taken two chairs um, and I'm going to, if I can't use this arm, I'm just going to help this leg up here, put it, put it up on the chair and because I'm kind of short, I've got to pull the chair kind of close. So I actually have to put both chairs up there. If you're someone who's a little bit taller, you might be able to just keep the one, put the one leg up there and keep the other one dropped down. But because I'm a little bit shorter, I've got to get the chairs really close together. I want my back to be all the way up against the back of this chair um, and my feet to be all the way up to the back of the chair that's in front of me. And now some of you might know what these are, but these are actually stretching straps. So this is the traditional way that you're shown how to stretch hamstrings is you hook it on your foot and you pull and that stretches the back of the leg. Um, but one thing it does is with that strap around your foot is you don't get that good even weight bearing through the bottom of your foot. And some people it's a little bit painful to have that strap um, coming across the bottom of their foot. So I've actually taken two of the stretching straps and attached them together. The reason I like these stretching straps is that um, they have the multiple loops on them. So depending on how uh, tightly you need to attach the chairs together, you can do that. And then I just have one of these. And I'm just going to put that right there. So back to what I was saying um, is I'm <laughs> I probably should backtrack a little bit and explain what I'm doing here. I'm attaching the chairs together. So with these straps here, and as I was stating earlier, um, these straps are nice because they have the multiple loops on them. So depending on the size of your chair and the length of your leg, you have a lot of adjustability in these straps. If you don't have armrests like this, uh, I could also see that you could attach them to the legs to hold the chairs together, but that's really important. Um, and then once you have the chairs close together, where your back is against the back and your feet are all the way up against the back of the chair in front of you and there's a little bit of a bend in your knee, you're just going to press down. So when I press down, I'm getting a good stretch along the back of my hamstring, but I'm also getting weight bearing through my foot, which is one reason why some people suffer from a stiff leg when they're walking. Um, so I'm getting a good ankle stretch. And then the other benefit is, is I'm getting nice weight bearing through the bottom of my foot, a nice even pressure through the bottom of my foot. This helps with neuropathy to get more sensation through the bottom of your foot. Um, it helps with spasticity to get that even pressure distribution through the bottom of your foot. So this would be stretching the middle hamstring right down the middle of the thigh. Um, another area that becomes really tight um, on a lot of people is the outer hamstring or the glutes, which is on the outside of the thigh. So to get the stretch for those, you can add a little twist and that'll deepen that stretch along there as well as you're still pulling your toes up towards your nose, so you should get a pretty good stretch through that. If you can't reach for an armrest or you don't have an armrest, just try grabbing the outside of your leg and you can pull to deepen that twist. It's always a good idea to keep your muscles symmetrical, so since you're here, if you do have both legs up there, just you can go ahead and do it to the other side. And then again, I'm going to grab here because I have a little bit more flexibility and I'm just going to pull 
If you're really flexible and you can actually go past your feet, you can actually pull from here. Make sure you're not rounding your back to reach the back of that chair because then you're losing that hamstring stretch. Um, but make sure you are bringing your belly button towards your legs instead of your chest to make sure that you're really emphasizing that stretch on the hamstrings. So I hope you found this exercise helpful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get notifications on new videos that I post and new tips um, to help you maintain your current level and also enhance any physical therapy services that you are receiving right now by incorporating some of these exercises into your home exercise program. So until next time, have a great day.